Here we are, guys. Math day 56. I found another book by Greg Tan that is like our Grapes of Math riddle and poem book. This is called Math Potatoes. So we'll read one a day. Our brain food. We got cards. Master the cards. Texas Hold'em, five card draw, seven card studded, Omaha. The trick is knowing when to hold, when to raise, and when to fold. Can you add up every card? That problem isn't very hard. A straight up flush, a prize of three. Try one of each, and it's a breeze. So here we have a straight. Two, three, four, five, six. Five cards where the numbers are all in a row. This one is called a flush. All the same suit. Here we have clubs and spades. Here we have all hearts. And here is a pair of threes. Clubs, spades, hearts, diamonds. These don't help at all. But groups of two, three, or four, all the same suit or numbers in a row, it's good when you play cards. Same Old Horse by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Steve Bjorkman. This is about making predictions. Same old horse. Hanky was allergic to hay. He sneezed about every 20 minutes, and that's how he got his name, Handkerchief. Hanky didn't just sneeze on schedule. Every day he did the same thing at the same time. Hanky's so predictable, Jazz teased. You always know exactly what he's going to do. Yeah, said Majesty. What a horse. Hanky just sneezed. Achoo! And walked away. Hanky hated being teased, but even more, he hated thinking the Jazz and Majesty might be right. Am I really boring, he wondered. Hanky's best friend, Sparkplug, tried to make him feel better. Don't let them bother you, she said. But Hanky didn't listen. I'll show them I'm not boring, Hanky thought. I can be as unpredictable as anybody. The next day, Jazz and Majesty were hanging around the gate when Spark plugged her back. Just watch, said Jazz. Hanky will come out of the barn at exactly 10 o'clock. You don't know that, said Sparkplug. You're just guessing. What is the clock up here? It's a little before. Nine. A little before 10. Something like that. Jazz winked at Majesty. Sparkplug didn't know that Jazz and Majesty had been watching Hanky for days. They knew that Hanky's owner, Susan, always brought Hanky out of the barn an hour after she arrived. Today, Susan had gotten to the stable at 9 a.m. Oh, so here's their table. Susan arrives, Hanky outside. Monday, 9.15, outside 10.15. Tuesday, 9, outside 10. Wednesday, 9.30, Outside, 10.30. Arrive, 9. Thursday, come out at 10. Friday, 9.15. Come out at 10.15. Saturday, arrived at 9 o'clock. Now, this is a pretty good table. It takes Susan about an hour to get everything ready to bring the horse out. She's been pretty consistent. So, guesstimating that Hank will come out of the barn at 10 because Susan arrived at 9 is actually a very good prediction.
Inside the barn, Hanky could hear Jazz from Edgy. This is my chance to be unpredictable, he thought. I just have to stay inside till after 10 o'clock. Hanky lowered his head and dug his in his heels, and Susan tugged on the rope. Hanky sneezed. Achoo! It was such a beast sneeze, Hanky couldn't keep his balance, and he staggered through the barn door at exactly 10 o'clock. Even though he tried not to. The next day, Sparkplug was chewing on some fresh grass when Jazz Majesty tried over. I predict that Hanky will be wearing his blue saddle pad today, said Jazz. She had noticed that Hanky wore his red pad one week and his blue pad the next. All last week, he had worn the red one. So here's the prediction. Week one, red. Week two, blue. Week three, red. Week four, blue. Week five, red. Week four. Six has an alternating pattern, an A-B pattern. A is red, B is blue. A is red, B is blue. A is red. It's a really good prediction. It alternates. Inside the barn, Hanky saw a new chance to be unpredictable. He had just to make sure that Susan put his red saddle pad on. Hanky snatched his blue pad in his teeth and hid it beneath a big pile of hay. Then, of course, he sneezed. Achoo! And he went, hay went flying just as Susan arrived. What's your pad doing underneath all this hay, Hanky, she said. And she put the blue pad on Hanky's back. Oh, no, thought Hanky. Now I'm being as predictable as ever. The next day, Jazz and Majesty watched as Hanky came out into the field to graze. I bet he rolls over first thing, said Jazz. Of course he will, said Majesty. He's done it every day for the last five days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He rolls over first. Yes, 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 yes. Pretty good prediction that he's going to do the same thing. Hanky heard them. I won't roll over. I won't roll over, he thought. But the grass looks so tempting. Hanky looked over at Jazz and Majesty. They were looking his way. Now's my chance, he thought. He flopped on his back. He wiggled and rolled. It felt wonderful. Majesty quickly turned. Ha, same old Hanky, he called. Same old horse. Hanky got to his feet with a sigh. Now watch, whispered Jazz. I bet he gets a drink of water next. He does it almost every time. Roll over first. Drink next. Roll over first. Yes. Yes. Ooh. No. Yes. No. Hmm. Hanky heard her, but he didn't care anymore. He was thirsty. He walked over to get a drink. I am predictably thought. I am boring. There's nothing I can do about it. Jazz called out, I predict you'll sneeze in three minutes. She knew that Hanky sneezed about every 20 minutes, and his last sneeze had been 17 minutes ago. Sparkplug came over to Hanky. Don't worry, I don't care if you do the same things all the time. You're my best friend, and I like you just the way you are. Hanky felt a little better. You're right, said Hanky. From now on, I'm doing what I want when I want to, no matter what anybody thinks. He stuck his nose back into the water. Just then, his sneeze caught up with him. That was predictable, said Spark and Plug, but it certainly wasn't boring. Same old horse. 